In this video, we're gonna be using Angora Soap's Midnight Lavender, and there will be a giveaway for that. And for the first time, the Above the Tie X1 Single Edge Slant. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CB. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. I'm really excited to be doing this shade because we have a couple of giveaways. I will tell you what's going to be up for giveaway. The Angora Soap, uh, this is Midnight Lavender, which I just took a scoop off of. And Captain Choice North, which I'll just use at the end of the shave. Both of those are going to be up for giveaway. And of course, this is going to be up for giveaway courtesy of Angora Soap. And Captain Choice North, up for giveaway courtesy of Captain Choice. So stay tuned for that. But first, let's talk about the soap a little bit. This is Angora Soap out of Virginia Midnight Lavender. If you're a fan of lavender, this is a really nice one. Uh, really right at uh, medium scent, but I would call it maybe on the strong side of a uh, medium. Good price on this soap comes to you for $16 for 4.5 ounces. And that is a good price of $3.55 an ounce on our cost chart there. I'll show you the notes right there. It's not just lavender. It's got uh, lavender, bergamot rose, uh, jasmine, but primarily it's a lavender scent. And the other notes in it sort of uh, just, uh, they're good accompanying notes, I think. Really, really nice. This is a tallow-based soap. We'll show you the ingredients right there. And keep in mind, this is going to be up for giveaway. All I did was uh, just scoop a little bit out there with the cosmetic scooper. So we shall be giving that away during the video. And uh, up for use the first time is the above the tie. This is the SE1 slant razor, which is made here in the United States. I'm really excited to use this. To my knowledge, this is the first ever artist club style slant razor. And you can see that head how it's slanted. The concept behind a slant is it uses a guillotine type effect and cuts like this in instead of like this and cuts more effectively. And this is an artist club style razor. This is made of uh, 303 stainless steel. It comes to you for 169, which is kind of nowadays below the premium price. The blade gap is 0.55. Uh, the exposure is 1.5. And I'm really looking forward to using this. Again, it says above the tie X1 uh, on the bottom there and made in the USA. And if you're going to buy something from uh, above the tie, I encourage you to use the discount code IMCDB and it will get you 10% off and it also helps the channel. Also, if you're interested in the, the this particular razor itself, I'll have a link for you below. But again, I'm not asking you to buy it, but if you do, use the discount code, save yourself some money. Uh, I'm looking forward to using this. It came well packaged as pretty much the standard from above the tie in their traditional packaging. Let's just show you, because some people like to see what the packaging is. Really nice cutouts, and there's a cutout for another razor, some blades as well, and some plates up here, which I think is very cool. And also in the packaging was an envelope with their card and a polishing cloth as well as some washers to protect the, to put between the handle and the base plate there so you don't get a metal rubbing on metal. And I think that's an awesome touch and I hope to see more um, razor makers doing that in the future. I think it's quite awesome and we're looking forward to using this. And by the way, we're having a Mariah, who's the CEO of Above the Town Real Talk in the in, on our next episode so make sure you uh check that out that's going to be fun because i don't think anybody has uh talked to above the tie in quite some time or at least since stan was around and mariah is uh, stan's daughter and she runs the business now with her husband matt so had a conversation with her the other day and look forward to to talking to them and talking about what's going on with above the tie and they said they still con consult stan many of you know stan from above the tie and about the time, just one of those, uh, you know, old school razor makers still hanging around there, still making great stuff. I used the, the Windsor H1 the other day, which was phenomenal. And a lot of times we don't pick up those sort of old favorites um, for no reason. Actually, they still shave great. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, this is going to be fun. I'm looking forward to using this. I've got the massive uh, Savile Row. 3332, I believe today. Uh, viewer Mike didn't care for it. It was a little bit floppy for him, so he traded me. And so we shall use that today. And there is our lather, which I think looks really nice. And Gore is definitely making a, a nice quality soap. This thing is massive, this brush, and it feels so soft. There is no scritch to it whatsoever. It's like a, a big pillow and it holds a lot of lather and water. But my lathers with um, 
Badger. Just never look quite the same as synthetic. Just because I use synthetics most of the time, vast majority of the time. But man, this brush is soft. It's it's huge. The knot on it, it's massive. But it's like a big old pillow. Very nice, very nice. But we're not going to spend all day lathering. We just want to get some of the Angora on here and get a good coating. And then we're going to get going with our Bud the Tie Slab. Again, Artist Club style razor, which uses those blades that are wider and more rigid than your uh, standard uh, double edged razor blade. And so I have never used, I think, nor has anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> to this point, an artist club style slant razor. So props to above the tie for sort of coming up with the, that concept. They call this one the mid uh, aggressive. So let's see what it's all about. This is called the X1 slant. Very nice. You do have some blade feel there due to that exposure. So right out of the gate. Oh yeah, that feels nice. Right out of the gate, I'm liking the uh, blade feel because you do get some blade feel. So I am thinking that their uh, their rating on this being medium aggressive is is right. To me, this feels similar in aggression or efficiency, whatever you want to call it, to the uh, uh, vector. Is sort of what it reminds me of in blade feel, which is perfect for me because I love the vector. Now I have the Atlas handle on this razor. Um, which I love. It's got terrific, like, barber pole style knurling. Awesome. And man, I tell you what, this, uh, this Angora, that lavender is just, just kicking. You talk about a relaxing scent. Midnight lavender is definitely that. Man, oh man. I'm digging it. I'm digging this razor. I saw, um, Lather Hog's, um, video where he used this a few days ago, and I don't know if he was blown over, you know, by it, um, but it was nice to see him use it. And I tell you what, I'm digging it. Um, now it's not going to feel as agile or, you know, you're not going to feel as nimble with it as you would the vector, but that slant, uh, in concept should cut more efficiently than your, uh, traditional, um, you know, completely horizontal blade using that again guillotine type effect and that was an excellent first pass so that <laughs> that was uh quite enjoyable and nice so let's talk about the giveaways uh today and i will randomly drop the winner uh of both of these items in and, and it will be one winner for both and if you happen to be international i'll throw something else in for the aftershave because i can't send an alcohol based aftershave um so the way to enter the giveaway for, for the Angora Midnight Lavender and Captain's Choice North is to just simply write Angora and Captain's Choice and spell it exactly as I have spelled it for you there. Exactly that way. That's all you have to do and in about a week. I will drop it in the YouTube random comment picker and I will randomly drop the uh, announcement in one of my videos. So. We do that because we want people who watch to uh, win. That's us thanking you. And if you're not watching the the videos and you miss it, well, you know, too bad. <laughs> but for those of you who are riding with me every single day and spending your time and uh, enjoying the hobby and just, you know, maybe you're watching it with your breakfast. Maybe, you know, I know some people uh, watch it in the morning with their breakfast with their kids and and so... Good morning to all you folks, and regardless of when you're watching it, I appreciate you, And uh, but I will be dropping the winner randomly, and it will be randomly selected by the YouTube comment picker, so cool. we will do that. Okay, man, oh man, what, what a knot this is, yow. I just wish uh, I was more accustomed to using uh, Badger. The type of lather synthetic makes and the way it puts it on your face relative to Badger is not exactly the same. And so the lather doesn't look the same, but I assure you, it is slick and it has good hydration in it. And uh, Angora, I've tried maybe now uh, three, four soaps, and it's a good quality soap. So, And it's a good price, so always keep that in mind. All right, let's, uh, let's get going here. Remember, the giveaway, again, 
All you have to do is just write. You don't have to hashtag anything. In fact, don't hashtag it. Just write um, Angora and then put a space in there and write Captain's Choice. That way I'll know you've watched and are entering the giveaway. Man, that's nice. Smooth, no drag whatsoever. I'm digging that a lot. I'm digging that a lot. And, uh, on a real talk last night, and I will, uh, I will link the the real talk. Maybe I'll pop it in one of the corners. We do uh, put it on YouTube, but we do that show live on Instagram. We were talking about it by the tie a little bit, and and Blackland and some other razor makers, and we pretty much all agreed that above the tie did and still does make good razors. But just not as many people reach for them or, or they're not shown as much in the community. And, and David, so Sharp David went on to say, you know, it's sort of a, in some ways, you know, when folks aren't showing them in their shave of the days as much or on the videos, you know, that's what happens sometimes is you, you just, you don't hear their mention as much if they're not sort of hot at that moment. But here they are all these years later, still making great razors. And this one is, uh, again, as far as I know, the first Artist Club style. Again, Artist Club being that wide uh, head, as you, as you can see, or at least I hope you can. If you see it on my face there, see how wide that razor is relative to a DE razor. Um, the first uh, slant in the Artist Club form factor and I think that's pretty cool um, there's, there's some exciting stuff coming out with um, with razors you see Blackland coming out with the era which is 3d printed stainless steel yes 3d printed <laughs> stainless steel wow and uh, now this one the first artist club slant so I, I really love that I love that you know outside the box type thinking and Mariah told me Matt her husband um, he's a head shaver and he likes to shave his head with this razor so maybe at some point I'll try it and see all right let's get going with our Angora and thank you Mike for trading me I had the 33 or what was I can't remember the I think it was 3824 and for me it just had too much it was set a little low for my preference had too much backbone Conversely, um, Mike had this one, and it was too floppy for his taste. And so we made a trade, and he's happy, and I'm happy, so that's that's awesome. <laughs> um, I just wish I could... Uh, I will, over time, develop a little better technique with Badger, but the way they hold water, and the way they hold lather, and the way they release lather is uh, is different. You'll notice when I'm using a synthetic, it has a very... The lather looks the same way all the time, and then when I use a badger, badger, it looks slightly different. You'll see the lines in it, and from my perspective, that's because the hair on badger is a little bit thicker in diameter, whereas the synthetic tends to be thin, and so they don't leave the lines as, kind of like a brush. Think about a paintbrush with fine, very fine bristles, or whatever you want to call it, versus a little rough, you'll see the lines, uh, or, you know, paintbrush is a little more coarse. You'll see the lines. But in softness, this thing is incredibly soft. And uh, it's got a ton of lather in it. That much I can tell you. If I were to squeeze out this knot, I bet you it's holding a ton of lather. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and let's see what... Whoops. It's got a lot of water in there, too. Let me... Uh, yeah. A lot of lather, a lot of water. So let's just slap that on there. Why not? <laughs> Might as well... Not wasted. Anyway, let me rinse my hands off. Now I got made a mess. Uh, these badgers hold a ton of water uh, in the knot. Now I've really made a mess with the lather. So anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop doing that because I'm just gonna paint it off. <laughs> I'm not gonna win any awards for the uh, for the looks of the lather now that I'm <laughs> I'm making a mess. But uh, look, it really doesn't matter when it comes down to it. If you've got a slick sheen. That's what you need. It doesn't have to be a show lather, so keep that in mind. Okay, let's go against the grain here. Well, there we go. Yeah, I thought for a minute I had the razor 
her in the wrong way. So how does this razor feel? Feels great. The blade, by the way, is Artist uh, Feather Professional, what we call the regular Feather Professional. Man, this stuff is slick. I was sort of trying to, trying to stretch a little bit there. That's really the key, um, regardless of the way the lather looks. My hand's slipping there as I'm trying to get a hold. It's exactly what you want. The Angora soap's definitely slick when you get that hydration in it. And that's what you want. Anyway, this razor feels smooth. You definitely feel a little blade, but for me, not menacing whatsoever. It's cutting smoothly. I am liking it. My initial impression here, and that's all, really all you can do for, from a first use perspective. Initial impression, I like it. It's cutting well. Um, I'm liking it a lot. And for me, this is likely to be a keeper. Um, I don't have any, it's not sending me any kind of signal that I won't like this for years to come. And so that's a good thing. When you buy something, you want to like it, you know. And again, I'll remind you just for your benefit. Well, also benefits the channel. If you do intend to buy from above the top, use that discount code IMCDB and save 10%. But as always, I always remind you, I'm not asking you to for my benefit, but if you're going to buy from them, save some money. And when you do, you're supporting one of the OG artisanal razor makers back from the day of, I forgot the other day when I was men mentioning the old school razor makers. You had Weber, Tuderi, Icon, who I forgot. And we're talking about not mass produced razors. Icon was in that space. There weren't a ton, and some of them are gone, so keep that in mind. Now keep in mind, Blackland has uh, brought back the Tuderi, but the original company is no longer around, Weber. No longer around, but above the tie, still in there plugging. And man, good residual slickness on this Angora. Uh, man, it's the slick. <laughs> and that's exactly what you want. Now, I had a great shave. This one was a lot of fun. And don't forget the giveaway, people. Don't forget the giveaway. Okay. That was outstanding. First run with the uh, above the top. X1. Artist Club Style Slant was terrific. Okay. Let me rinse and then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back in off cam. We did a warm water rinse, followed it with the alum, no stinging whatsoever. Super smooth shave, rinse with cold water, water, excuse me, toweled off with our Lancaster towel and then used a magic made by Witches Thayer's Witch Hazel. Super awesome shave today. I'm really, really happy with my purchase. This is the Above the Tie X1 Single Edge Slant Razor using Artist Club. Uh, blade. I really enjoyed it. The first run with that was a big thumbs up. So really, really nice. Angora soaps, midnight lavender. If you're a fan of lavender, you very well may like this. Great quality. Thumbs up on that. And remember, it's up for giveaway. Uh, we used our Savile Row, the enormous, which has got a bunch of, <laughs> I'm just slinging water all over the place. Awesome. Thank you, Mike, for that trade. And we're going to finish it off today with Captain's Choice North, which is also up for giveaway. All I'm going to do is take the cap off and just put a little couple of drops in there so we can use it. And this one, the scent on it, by the way, is evergreen, juniper, um, clove, vanilla. And so that will be up for giveaway. It sort of has a, a bay rum vibe to it with some evergreen. And we will be off to the races. Thank you, Captain's Choice and Angora, for providing the giveaway. And thank you, most importantly, for watching it. Till next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave. Do it your way. As always, God bless.